What is up everyone, my name is Damien, welcome to my channel, hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to be talking about Waven. Waven is a, a strategy PvE and PvP game that is currently in alpha. During this alpha phase, they're actually testing in majority the PvE. Last alpha, they tested the ranked system for PvP, but you can also do PvP against other people in your party or people that you find around the cities in Waven. Disclaimer right away, the game is in French, but I'll give you the tools to be able to translate in real time stuff from the game. So I'll show you guys as we go how to be like if you're not french which is my case you'll have a bit of a hard time understanding how the game works because the game is about strategy a lot and you see a lot of uh things that you might want to translate but regardless this not this does not stop you from playing because there are tools like the ones i'm going to show you guys that allow you to be able to play the game even if it's in french so this is waven this is where this is our starting point this is where you start the game Pretty much at this point, you you start with one of three classes. A class that's selected automatically is called Eop. There's three other classes. We have Kra and we have the Zelo. Uh, Eop would be our warrior cl class. Kra would be our bow ranged class. And Zelor would be our time magic class. There's in the Wakfu world about 10 gods, 10 to 12 gods, if I'm not mistaken. Currently, we only have these three gods uh, available, which each god has a race of their own. So let's let's talk about the game. So if you go to our inventory here on the left corner, so as you can see here, you have selection class, you have inventory, and you have edition decks. What I just showed you guys was the selection class, and also you, after you have the selection class, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change to the one that I've been playing and the one I'm more familiar with because I would have to translate everything all over again because i've played already a couple of hours of this game so i know most of the stuff by heart for this class so by sele we select this class so i just enabled the music so you guys can get a vibe of what the music in this game feels like the music is actually amazing it feels so good so we're starting on an island that is um uh, this is a starting island i don't believe we can come back here so you can only be here one time it gives you a tutorial how to start this we're gonna start by since we changed to zelar we're gonna start by uh, pressing e where it directs us directly to the character slot. You can either press E or you can go edition deck. And here you'll be able to choose uh, five of the Zellor uh, characters. So the Zellor character we're gonna go for, the time magic is the one I've been playing, which is this one, which pretty much bases around teleporting and doing damage while teleporting. So we're gonna select her, we're gonna press escape, I'm gonna get out, and then we're gonna go do the tutorial. So the whole point of this game uh, is you will have you have the character the character has eight spells and uh, well, actually the character has nine spells eight spells that you can sort and a passive spell in itself so the character in itself also has a passive which you can read so for example i'm going to use the tool here right here so you guys can actually see what i mean so now that i've turned on my screen translator i'll show you guys how normally it works basically all you have to do is be sure that you uh, over the the character's passive so in this case like this and it will freeze the 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 screen uh, for you guys in this case sometimes it freezes this on obs but right now it's not freezing so I, i'll just select correctly the area that i want to know how it looks like and it will tell me in a sec or two because it takes a bit to load what it means so you can see here there's a translation in uh, french and then you can see the translation in english it actually works, works really well. So inflicts is AT, AT being our attack on the opponent with the most PV when it teleports. PV in this case is our health points. I believe they call it point vital, some shit like that. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So this is this is gonna be our go tool, go to tool. This is called Screen Translator. is a, a GitHub application created by someone. Thank you, Sonari, one of my uh, lovely, lovely uh, viewer and sub that actually supplied me with this. I have another method that I also post below. It's much easier. This one actually takes a bit of setup. You have to download some packages, but I can show that. Uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll do it on stream. And I'll, uh, I'll uh, link it below tomorrow or so in the description of this video. But yeah, so if you guys can set it up by yourselves, this is how it will work. We'll be able to see whatever it does. So this character in this case, every time we teleport, we're able to do the damage 
uh, when we teleport, we do the damage of the enemy on the enemy with the highest attack. So if the enemy that has the highest HP has about 10 damage, we'll be doing 10 damage on him whenever we teleport. That's how it works. It will select always the one with the highest HP. So this is how this character works. Uh, this is our passive. Our skill that comes with the passive is pretty much a teleport that gives you AR. AR in this game is defense. So AT is damage. AR is like a shield defense uh, or, or armor if you prefer. And then we have also PV, which is which is HP. On the left side, we can see here we have companions. The companions are like characters that you're able to summon once you've reached a certain threshold of the element. So you'll see soon in game that each each, each one of the spells, uh, because they're purple in this case, will stack the purple uh, stat, purple status. This purple status in this case is called air. There's several elements. There's the fire element. There's the air element. There's the uh, earth element. There's the water element, and there is neutral. In this case, the build we're playing with this character is air because the build that it comes with and the build I'm used to at this point. Each one of these will give us one stack. There's actually one. This one gives us two, but as you can see, it costs a lot more than the other ones. Regardless, it's it's really worth using. So if we're able to play, let's say. The synchronization here and we play the teleportation long here we'll be able to have three points which means we can summon one of this bird that's pretty much how it works as you do dungeons and you do missions you're also able to equip items here either gems or rings certain rings allow you to put gems in it which means that instead of occupying a, a slot with the ring and a gem you'll be able to put one gem inside of a ring and then we also have the skill tree. Skill tree is quite complex, so this is where our tool comes in. So we will want to know exactly what each one of the skill tree uh, things say. So you can see here, when you apply Vente, which is our air element on an enemy, the at normally is an image. To an opponent, you have 2.2% chance of reducing. So in this case, I'm guessing they're talking about the PA. PA in this case is our energy, is our resource to be able to use any of these skills. So this is pretty much a bit. Oh, you can also change the, the appearance of your character to male or female. All characters have this possibility, but as you can see, you have to unlock it with currency that you get as you play the game. It's doable. Uh, I, I've had this amount of money, but I kind of like the female character. I think she looks pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so jumping into the game, I'm gonna show you guys real fast how the game works. So as you can see here, uh, in a normal PvP scenario, this is what happened. You have one character starting on one side and one character starting on the other side. In this case, what do you want to do? Depending on the character that you're playing, you might wanna get close or not get close enough. In this case, I would like to get close because I know that this character won't be doing an insane amount of damage up close. It's about the same as far away. So we're gonna, we're gonna start by doing some spells at the distance. We're gonna try to get as close to this character as possible to be able to slam it. Once you finish, once you, as you can see here, I just used two spells. This is our AP and this is how you finish the turn. This is the spells. Per, tar, per turn you get one spell and this is here is a discarded pile. Up here you can see on the left side, the element that I was talking about, right now we have two. So if I play one more card, I'll be able to summon one of these uh, minions over here. The minions only consume this value over here. You don't have to worry about PA, our energy, or uh, or in English they call it AP for those of play Cross Maga. You cannot. You only have to worry about the stat that we have here that you get per each. Uh, for each card that you play of this element, the air element. So right now, as you're gonna see, you're gonna see the teleport do exactly what we talked about. It's gonna hit the damage of the teleport plus the damage that the enemy can inflict. So it'll be doing 24 plus 23. In this case, uh, 22 for some reason that I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can see now that we have available the uh the bird we can summon the bird and now we have an extra character that not only use to attack we can also use to block our enemy's path as you can see he cannot go through us not this particular character unless he has a skill for it and it, we can attack him and we can finish our turn so in this case the enemy can only go back or use some kind of spell it can push me it can do several things 
So as you can see, the enemy is about to summon a bird and pretty much do the same thing I did. The particularity about this character is our character has a lot of teleports. The teleports just allow us to place ourselves around the enemy however we want. So the idea here is you want to focus the main enemy as much as possible. We're on. We cannot summon anything right now, but we do have a teleport, which we can act actually not use because this is a very small teleport. It doesn't allow us to go very far. But as you see here, we have a skill that costs uh, four PA. So as we have every t uh, certain skills like this one, you can see there on the top, it says uh, it gives you two marks, but it also gives you one PA, one energy reserve. So and we don't have enough for it, but we're going to use our energy that's on reserve. So we have an ability available. So we can hit the enemy and now we can attack him with both our characters once again. So this is pretty much the breakdown. I don't think there's much more I can show you guys about this. This is the basics of the game. So once you're finished the tutorial, which I advise all of you to do, you can do it as many times as you want. I believe that you will, if you even if you lose, you can do it again. You'll be able to leave our island over here. This island is pretty much a start island, so you can explore and see whatever we have here. Currently, I think this is the only thing we can do on this island. That's the only thing you have to worry about. So now your first choice is going to be to which city you will want to go. Right now, the cities that we have available are the chauffeur or skeletons. We have the couchon or the pigs. And we also have the Bork or Ogres in this case. And we have Bonta, but Bont, Bont is pretty much a kingdom, but I don't think that there's anything in Bonta that currently we can do or that's very interesting. So we're gonna start by picking the ones that are played on stream, which are called the Shafa. Once you get to the Shafa, you will want to talk to this NPC over here. The NPC will, you can actually pick the story if you prefer, and you can hear him talk about it, or you can press escape to skip it right away. Or you can <clears throat> pick one of the quests that he has available for you to do, or one of the dungeons. This is our first dungeon. You'll be doing this dungeon a lot if you want to go through the difficulties. There's also the option of doing missions instead of uh, instead of the dungeons. The missions are much, much faster than the dungeon. Or in this case, it's mission, sorry. So in this case, we will be doing missions instead of dungeons, because I want to show you guys how fast, how much faster it is compared to the dungeon. Dungeons, we have several rooms you have to go through in order to get to the boss and eventually have a shop where you can buy uh, stuff from it. I personally have been doing the dungeon because the dungeon uh, has a shop where you can buy other companions that you can fill your uh, characters with. So in this case, you can press this. You'll do the first missions. Once you've reached, I think it's about 100 PK, which is points that you get every time you finish a mission you'll be able to start doing the dungeon. The dungeon, as you can see, it requires at least 10 PK. I believe that if you do one or two matches, you'll be able to have enough PK. So this is how a start, this is pretty much the start of the start of the alpha for a starter character. So I'm, now I'm gonna switch to my main character so you guys can kind of see what a character with a couple hours in it already feels like. Now on my main character, on my main character you can see I already have a bit more currency than usual. On this character um, I actually have a lot of stuff unlocked already, it's already level 27. I have other companions which are actually quite awesome, I like them a lot. Uh, you're also, you can also upgrade your companions, but this will not be applied to PvP. As you can see here, I have Cochleen, which is a demigod, and according to the story uh, of the show, where I already enhanced quite a little bit things of him. So while doing dungeons and missions, you'll get this crystal. This crystal will allow you to enhance all of the stuff that you want here, so your characters will be bad, uh, stronger in PvE. I do not believe that currently this does not work for PvP, but maybe in the future they'll do something like that. I hope not because I feel like it will be quite unbalanced. So as you can see, I was talking about the rings. Here you go. There's the rings. The rings have uh, I have I have rings with sockets. Whenever they have a socket, they have this little square on the side, and you can see that you're able to put certain gems in it. In this case, I have a head of view in it. That's pretty much it. I think there's not much more to to show. This <clears throat> that's pretty much it. And I, I I wanted to make a, a short as possible video, an intro to you all of you guys. Uh, I will leave the tool down below so you guys can use the tool like I use. The tool is actually really, really good. I'll try to put a clip down below also and show you guys the settings that I have for it. So, so that you guys are able to set it up and make it work like mine works. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Damien. Stay demonly happy, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, also, I might be streaming when this video comes up, so go check the stream. Even though there's not many English players on this game, I'm one of them. You can also check it. I never miss my streams, and that's pretty much it. Have a nice one, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.